Hey guys, Codename Big Bear here. Today I'm going to do a review of the survival RPG Niflheim. So let's do this. He enters Niflheim, the harsh land of ancient spirits. So what is Niflheim? Well, it turns out it's actually one of the nine worlds, also known as World of Mist or Home of Mist, uh, within Norse mythology. Uh, essentially, the story for the game is you are a uh, you're a fallen soldier. You've been sent off to go to Valhalla, but on your way to Valhalla, you have been uh, kind of escorted and kind of dragged away by uh, myth mythical mythical beasts or you know, demons, that kind of thing. And they're keeping you in what I can only really assume uh, by the land of mist and things that is kind of like a purgatory for Vikings. Uh, and the goal of the game, essentially, is to survive. As much as you can, I imagine, get yourself to Valhalla by the end. But how you survive is actually by crafting stuff. You have to go from area to area. Uh, you need to find like resources, which is like you know, food, obviously, in general thing. Uh, but twigs and you know, build your own blocks, and you've got to build your own city out of your castle, which is pretty much where you start. Um, you do this by going into mines and just good kind of entering into your own world. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble with this because I'm not. This kind of game really isn't for me, is it, this kind of survival RPG. I don't like the idea of having to build things all the time. Um, I just find it kind of tedious. I just want to see, you know, I've got a sword and I'm going to use it and, you know, have some fun with some enemies. As you're going through, uh, as you're going through the game, uh, you kind of discover stuff as you go. It doesn't really hold your hand for that. Uh, I eventually found out there was a mine, and I went into the mine and started mining resources. Then it's when I figured out you can forge uh, your kitchen, you can forge workshops, uh, and you know where you can build build weapons. The actual forge, I suppose, is probably the best, best one to do. Um, so that's kind of cool on, on that sense. Um, but yeah, this story is kind of pretty basic, as far as I understand. You're dead. You don't, you don't, you want to get to Valhalla as best you can. Um, the world is kind of built up through, uh, through the artwork itself. The artwork is, do you know what? It is, it's really, really nice. I really like it. So it kind of reminds me of uh, 1990s style uh, graphic novels back in the day when everything's kind of getting a bit edgier. Uh, everyone's a bit darker. It kind of feels a bit like slain from the 2000 AD stuff. Presentation of it is a bit kind of janky. It feels like, like a comic book, which is kind of cool, but it also feels like these animations have kind of been done on Flash. But someone who knows how to use Flash a bit better than you know a beginner. I'm not. I don't want to kind of. I don't want to uh, hurt the game in that way because uh, it really takes away from presentation if I do. Uh, but it is. It, that's kind of how it is. You can see it on the screen the way he's moving about. It does look a bit awkward. But otherwise, the game is really pretty, and and the sound that goes with it. The music is very atmospheric and works really, really well. And I went to a different world at one point during the game, and there was a different score for each world, at least as I saw. There's not much voiceover in this game. Uh, so anyone who's a fan of reading, they're going to enjoy this one. Anyone who's not, well, yeah, they might just get through it. It's not, it's not a hard read at all. Uh, but some of the characters in it, or at least you know, the two, two or three characters that I met uh, throughout, um, have a have a weird way of being written. It's not kind of how you'd expect from a Viking game. I was expecting something a bit more serious and very much kind of uh, war hungry, I suppose. Uh, but you meet a crow or a raven straight away, and he's all like, "Car, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that." What I meant was, "Hey, how you doing?" And it kind of goes on like that. It's kind of really jokey, and it doesn't quite gel for me. I really didn't didn't like that. I would prefer it if it was, you know, I've been sent here by Odin. And, I'm helping you do this thing and that thing. Uh, that would that been quite cool. Uh, but I mean, you know, I mean, the voiceover that is there, the, you know, the beginning of the beginning of the uh, the game itself, you get a, a bit of a backstory to your character and how you've ended up in Niflheim. Uh, so that's really quite nice. It's really well done as well. So for more of the gameplay itself, as I said, you kind of go out into the world. Now, the first thing I did is I I ventured left. When uh, about <laughs> two doors down, I suppose, I went to this witch's hut, uh, who uh, was actually going to talk to me if I got her a loaf of bread properly, tells me more about the world and all that kind of thing. Uh, but uh, you get, you get, I got to this hut, and I pressed up to go in, and then the game kind of crashed on me. I was a bit annoyed because some of the sound at the beginning of the game was a bit in and out a little bit. Uh, it wasn't, uh, you know, it was just in and out. It wasn't very good. Uh, but the game crashed on me. I had to restart the whole game, and that was just a bit of annoyance. Luckily enough, I didn't get very far, and but I haven't had any problems since then. So hopefully that was just a one-off. Um, but again, on the crafting side of things, uh, you actually, so I mentioned this witch and she asked me to get some bread. So I had to go build myself a kitchen so I could make the bread. Turns out I didn't even have 
anywhere close to the ingredients that I needed for the bread, which is I got like eggs, but I had no flour or anything else to go with it. Uh, but I didn't realize that you know, crafting was going to be so essential to this game. Not until my club, my, my shepherd's club died and I was left just punching and kicking wolves and getting my ass handed to me. So, you know, it, I, I really struggled with that. And then I found a safe within my castle. And the first time I went to this, it didn't work straight away. So I figured, oh, okay, maybe I've got a lot of that later in the game. Turns out there was a sword in there, and I could have used that a lot earlier on. And I kind of wish I did. Um, but that was just kind of on the main hub world and then the actual uh, castle itself. But you go in, and you, uh, you go into the mines. And you got levels of mines as you go, and you got to kind of bash your way through, pick up the resources out there, get your coal, get your building materials. You can place doors uh, so you can go straight to it if you want to. You basically make up your own like fast travel on that one. And I believe you do the same in the dungeons, but I didn't get very far in dungeons because I got my uh, my butt handed to me because I didn't have any weapons, and there was poison, and I wasn't too sure how to get around the poison, and there was lots of spiders. And these spiders killed me a lot. And then I turned and I got out of the dungeons and skeletons turned up and did the same thing too. And I was just like, oh, oh cool, I'm dead. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was kind of, it was one of those. It's a bit of a, bit of a bum note there. Um, but as I said, coming to the beginning of this game, um, this game just kind of isn't for me uh, personally. This isn't the kind of game I would seek out and play. Uh, I was actually hoping, not really looking into the game before I played it, uh, that it was going to be more of an action, uh, side scroll and beat em up style adventure game. You know, maybe some platforming, a little bit puzzling, kind of Metroidvania-esque. Uh, with some really cool looking moves coming from the Vikings using their axes and stuff like that. Um, but instead it was this survival RPG, so it threw me, threw me for six there. I wasn't entirely sure how to take it. Um, uh, so, yeah, I kind of found myself getting quite bored. Uh, only because I don't have much of an attention span. I mean, I got I played GTA 5 and haven't even got to Trevor and I stopped playing that game. And I know, I know, that's probably a bit, uh, a bit sacrilegious because it's supposed to be one of the best games of this generation at the last. But that's the way I, I play things. I prefer things to be nice and linear and hold my hand and take me to the, uh, take me to the area where I should go. Uh, but that's me anyway. So... Basically, uh, this game, uh, I think objectively, it's a really good game. I've spoke, since spoken to a few people about it, and people kind of really like the idea of what I was talking about with the crafting and not really knowing what's going on in the game, and basically going, not being handheld, and people really enjoy this. But for myself, that just it just didn't, it didn't sit. I, like I said, I've said that about a thousand times already in this. But again, if you look at the uh, the graphical uh, side of things and how it looks, uh, your presentation is really wonderful. The music is just really well built. Everything about the game works, and it, it really does uh, send out competency behind it, which is nice. The only thing I, that really, really put me off this game was, again, not hand-holding and the uh, the animation of the characters themselves. And the fact that you're in a Viking and all he does is lift his arm up and down to hit people, that was a bit disappointing um also as well yeah you, you had an axe uh that you couldn't couldn't uh equip as a weapon it was a tool and a tool only and in my head i'm going wait since when would a viking not use an axe as not a tool if he had if it was the only weapon he had it just just didn't it blew my mind i didn't make any sense i just i couldn't get my head around that and it really bothered me um and i couldn't find a shield as well so i just died very very quickly uh but yeah i'm, I'm kind of digressing a bit i'm kind of rambling on i i appreciate that and i'm gonna kind of stop this now but like i said objectively this game is actually really good everything seems to work everything seems to do what people really really enjoy about the game the crafting is just so easy it's it's, it's right there for you uh going to find all your tools and your uh your resources is really cool you can mix spells i believe there's also some kind of uh portal uh, that you can zap yourself to different areas to um i haven't quite got the file yet as i said um so yeah this, this game looks to be really really good and if it wasn't for me if it was somebody else maybe scoring this they might give it a bit of a higher score themselves uh something on of a seven but personally it was just personally just very very boring and i really found myself just not wanting to play this game um but because of all the ups that he does have this game is going to be a five from me but this is not my official score um this is as i said an impressions video so anyway guys that was my look at niflheim uh it was a bit of a mixed bag as i said but please let us know what you think down below don't forget to comment like subscribe hit the bell button find us on social media at respawning uk uh we have a website respawning.co.uk as well so again that was my look at the game so guys have a nice day and be nice to each other yeah